What's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another video of Kicking Their Bass TV. Today, we're gonna be pond fishing. We haven't just gone around and pond hopped in a long time, so today we're making it happen. It's very hot outside, but I think we're gonna be able to catch these fish. Got my new Kicking Their Bass TV combo, brought to you by Luz, and I have the same trap that we've been fishing the last few videos. This is actually by Strike King. If you guys wanna get a discount on the rods or the baits, I have my links and codes down below that can help you guys out a little bit on price. We just pulled up to this pond. We're gonna walk down to it, see what we got. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, let's go ahead and hop into this one and see if we can catch a big bass today. made it out to the first pond beautiful little place and I've been here a few times before first time I ever came here is with my boy Delton he hooked one that was like seven pounds monster and then we ended up coming out another time and I was filming a video over the one dollar lipless crankbait from Walmart the hooks were horrible on the bait just horrible and I hooked one around five to seven pounds just, just monster I don't know exactly how big he was but he's well over five and uh, he came right off at the bank so there's big ones in here. We just gotta cover a lot of water, see if we can get them to bite, but I think we might get lucky today. I'm feeling it. This feels good just coming out here, throwing a lipless crankbait. This is like one of my favorite ways to come to ponds and just kind of pond hop and try to catch a lot of big fish. You're just walking around with the lipless. So we're gonna get over here in this corner and see if we can catch one. The water is a little bit low. Oh my God, I got one right away, first cast. Not big. How are you? All right, I can walk down here if that's cool. All right, yeah, I won't. For sure, I understand completely. I'll walk down here and get out of your way. Thank you. Yep. There we go, first little fish today. Literally on the first cast. I don't know if that's good luck or bad luck. Not a big one at all, but um, Still a nice little fish. Right down here? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go down there. That way. All this is... That's fine, we're walking For right sure. now, brother. Yeah. Thank you, have a good day. Not a big one, but uh, we will go ahead and get him back in the water. It's a little guy, something to start off with. You gotta start somewhere when you're fishing. So, it's our first fish today. Let's see if we can catch another one. All right, I'm standing right here. All right, guys, that is a nice little start. Not a big one, but we gotta start somewhere. With it being a hot summer day and they catch one right off the rip, that's just a good sign. Love throwing this trap and just cover a lot of water with it. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna hop to a lot of ponds, just cast, 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 and see what we catch today. And more importantly, just see if we can run into a big one. I think if we throw enough casts today, it can happen. Oh, dude, he followed me in right there. Oh, gosh, that's a decent one, dude. Oh, he's about the same size as the first one. <laughs> I thought he felt big the way I have him hooked. Oh, man, <laughs> he's smaller than the first one. We got, oh my God. All right, these are the ones that you gotta be careful with. So I'm gonna show you guys this. I think this is a great talking point. When you grab these bass, see how I have his gill plates shut down? That actually paralyzes the bass. He can't flop right now. So I keep pressure on his gill plates. And once I have a firm grip on this fish, I can just go in and take him off the hook and not have to worry about him hooking me. It's very important. Pretty, oh. <laughs> Dude. All right, all right, all right, guy. He's just gonna release himself. <laughs> well, guys, we have caught two fish right away. This is like the quickest I've caught some fish in a while. Haven't been to this pond in like a year, so it feels good to be out here, but two little bass so far. I feel a big one coming. Oh, dude, did you see that blow up in the corner? That was crazy. Got some on my bait. 
Reel this in real quick. This fish just like schooling in the corner back here. That should be him. Come on, baby. Oh, there he is. Little tiny guy. <laughs> we found the small ones today. But we gotta start somewhere. That's the thing with this pond is like, there's some really, <laughs> there's some really big fish in here, but there's also a lot of small ones. So you kind of got to weave through them, but at least we're catching some right now. How many miles are we going to walk today, bro? We're going to walk a lot, brother. You know what's crazy is back in like my pond fishing stage of YouTube, you know, I only fished tournaments and only filmed boat videos for like six years. Then I went on this like pond fishing craze because I was like, you know what? I understand a lot of people don't have a boat. You know, I want to relate to you guys. So I started pond fishing a lot. I was walking like five miles a day, Cody. Like, you know that little app on your phone that tracks it or it's yeah. the health app? Dude, every day at least five miles of walking. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna be going to the next pond. We caught three fish in that one, which is a plus. You know, we had to start somewhere. It was super quick. We were probably only out there for like 15 minutes, but um, we, we did meet a homeowner and he was a little frustrated that we were out there. Um, I told him, I was like, yeah, we can move. Like, it's no problem. I fished out there for two years. I haven't had a problem with anybody. You know, I, when when I go out to these ponds, guys, one, I'm, I make sure I go to places that one, I either have permission at or two, I know I'm okay fishing with. And uh, like I said, I've never had a problem out there in a few years, but he, he, he got a little frustrated, didn't he, Cody? He sure did. I don't know. We, he like walked up. He's like, hey, I, if you if you don't walk on my lawn, blah blah blah. And I was like, yeah, of course. And we just like continued walking down the bank, and he, he tried to follow us and just yeah. keep going. But we weren't disrespectful at all. Nah. We were just trying to move on from there, and he kept talking to us. So. We felt like it was just kind of a place we needed to move move along yeah. and get to the next pond. Yeah, so we're uh, we're going to the next pond now. We're gonna see what we can do. We did catch three fish there, so that's a positive note. You only made about but, um, ten casts. Yeah, that. dude. I mean, I caught three instantly. It's usually not like that out there. So yeah. that was it's a good sign to know that fish are biting today. I just hope we can catch a big one. So we're gonna get out of that guy's hair. I don't want to upset him by any means. He might be having a bad day. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, but we're having a good day, aren't we, Cody? We're, we're having, having a, a happy day. day. So. We're gonna go catch us a big one right now. Oh yeah. We just came out to the second pond of the day. This pond is actually very special to me. One, because I filmed my 100 subscriber, 100,000 subscriber special out here. We filmed a bunch of bangers on this pond, but I don't know if you guys remember, I filmed a video of fishing in a pond that they were draining. It's actually this pond, and this is over a year later. There's still water in this pond, which is crazy. I thought they were draining it completely, but uh, yeah, I don't know if these fish are still alive, but this used to be a good little juicy area. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time in here. Let's see if we can catch some big ones. I used to always catch a ton of like three, four pounders every time I came out here. So let's see what we can do. This pond was so hard to fish before. It had like a lot of trees in it and you had like little tiny areas that you would have to go to to be able to cast. And now you can kind of cast around the whole pond. It's like they cleared out the whole thing. But I, I have a feeling a lot of these fish died off, which really upsets me because I have a lot of good memories at this pond. We filmed some freaking bangers out here but maybe today's the day that we're gonna figure out if there's still fish that are alive in here see if there's some good ones we're some fan cast a lot out here in the middle yeah it used to be so hard to cast here there's trees everywhere kind of how those trees are they're all around this pond yeah About a year and a half.
I know there's still some fish in here because I was going to film a fish rescue where I transported the fish out of there. Yeah, I was going to ask you, when it was drained, was it like, was there still like a little pool where there was some fish? Um. Or was it like, did it get empty? empty? It didn't get empty, empty. There was still like a little bit of water. Yeah. Over here was like really shallow, but on the other end, I caught a few fish. I still know with them draining it back, like would these fish die? You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not sure. I assume there's some in here, but I used to film, catch a good bit of fish. Good. I'd be surprised if we don't at least get one. Down there is like my favorite spot in that corner. But right here, there used to be some big ones out here in the middle, but I just don't. And then that bank over there, with those little pipes in the water, that was like a fire spot. Yeah. We'll walk around though to that bridge. So I talk about it all the time. It's very important to retie. Had a bunch of frays on my line. Last thing you want is to break off. So when you guys got some frays, it takes two seconds to retie. I promise you to be worth your time, especially if you lose a big fish. It's happened to me so many times where I'm just stubborn. I don't retie and then end up losing a giant. So always retie your line, guys. Even if it's the slightest fray, it'd be worth it in the end. Ooh. This looks so different. If I just catch one decent one in here, I'll be happy. Used to always be fish on that. I saw some bait flicker right where I just cast. Armadillos are so fly, dude. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> dude, there's multiple Cody. <laughs> Yo, what in the world? Oh, there's one right there. It's like a little cat. I'm about to spank it. I'm about to spank it. You're gonna spank it? I don't want to spank it. Is it recording? Yeah. I'm about to spank Wait, it. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. I spanked it. <laughs> Did it do anything? Yeah, it kind of ran. That one didn't do anything. Oh, I spanked it. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to spank an armadillo, dude. So why? Uh, all right, so I saw this video a while back. This guy sneaks up on one, and he spanks it, and it jumped up, like, this high. Like, it jumped up super high. <laughs> if I can find the clip, I'll, I'll roll it if it's not copyrighted. <laughs> but, man, that was cool. I've always wanted to spank one. <laughs> there was three, man. Did you see that? Yeah. Armadillos are fly. Those things are cool. What did it feel like? Like a hard shell? Yeah, well... Not as hard as you would think, like not like a turtle shell. Yeah. More of like a thick leather or something. <laughs> Dude, that was funny when you're like, hey! And you're just like. <laughs> he didn't even like really flinch. Keep an eye out for snakes. Yeah. There's some snaky, snaky stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of turtles in here. If we don't have a bite in this corner, I don't know what to say. This is like a good little spot. Did you notice that? Mm. My bait was tangled up when the hook is on your line. If you could do this, it come um, off. Yeah. <laughs> I knew there was a trick for it. I can't remember how to do it though. Dude, that's weird. Somebody had to. Oh my God, I got him. 
Let's go. Yes, there is fish in here. Oh, he came off. <laughs> oh man, that just feels good to know that there's a fish in here. That's my first bite in this pond ever since they drained it. So I guess there are a little bit, there's a few fish here and there. I was expecting to hook a big one. I don't really hook small ones in here, but heck, there's some fish in here. We just gotta keep on casting. I think there'd be some more. This corner is like fire, guys. I used to always get a good bite. So we're gonna make a good bit of cast, see if we can fire up a, <gasps> a big one, a big one. Oh, oh my God, dude. Cody. Did you see how big he was? That was like a five pounder, dude. As we were talking about it. Saying the word big one, dude, I watched him just go like this. <laughs> just eat it. I actually saw him eat it. I didn't see him eat it. Oh I my god. Dude, I saw his whole body. Dude, they're in here, bro. Oh my god. Why did he have to come off? I think it's the angle that I'm on. See, I'm on a hill. Yeah. I know that sounds weird, but it's happened to me before. Where I'll be like fishing kind of on a hill and I just can't get a good hook set on him. Dude, that was a big one, bro. Did you see it on the camera? All right, let's keep on casting, man. That, <laughs> that was the next cast after that other fish. I feel like they don't get fished a lot, so maybe you could, maybe you'll eat it again. Oh no, they usually don't bite that good in here, though. But I don't know if that was just a fluke or. I hope there's more, dude. But in this corner, I used to always have like one opportunity to get a three to four pounder, and that fish was ever that fish that was, was over four. Five, yeah, yeah, that was that was a five pounder. God, dude, I want. I watched him eat it. I got a small one. Dude, there's fish in here. That feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> How do you go from... Dude, I know people talk all this trash. Like, it's always the big ones that get away. But, hey, you guys saw that fish. Like, what? Like, how do you go from hooking... <laughs> we had one that was like a pound and a half. Next cast, we hook one that's like five pounds. Then we catch one that's like a quarter of a pound. A double cheeseburger weighs more than that thing. Whoa. Using that as a more a napkin? napkin? <laughs> yeah, bro. Hey, you never know what you, you gotta, gotta use. use. What you, got you. you gotta use what you gotta use, dude. I I'm like getting excited about this pond because we've had three fish bite. There's there's a decent amount of fish still in here, which feels so good. I really thought these fish were gonna die. Like when I came out here. I was actually coming back to film a fish rescue. I was talking about it in the video and then I kind of got a, a word from somebody that they said they're not draining this thing completely, but the water was like all the way out of it. But there's still some giants in here, bro. That was a freaking toad. That was a big fish. Like with us not fishing in a couple weeks and losing one that big, that kind of hurts. Cause that would have been our biggest fish back on the water. But I'm sure there's another one lurking. Let's just keep on casting. We're gonna catch a big one this week. We're gonna do it. Sometime this week, we're gonna have a, a mega. It's gonna happen. We're gonna catch one over eight Yeah. this this week. Yep. So you guys better stay tuned to the content. Hit the uh, notification bell next to the subscribe button because 500 likes on this video and we'll take a scale everywhere we go. 500? Or should we do more? 5,000. 5,000 likes. 5,000 likes. I know the kicking fam can do it. All right, so if we get 5,000 likes on this video, Cody, this is Cody's responsibility. You're, you're listening, Cody, right? Okay. Cody's got to bring a scale everywhere we go. 5,000 likes. I know you guys want I know you guys want me to bring a scale because if we would have caught that big one right there, we wouldn't have had a scale. Nope. So I'll make sure to have a scale. But you guys so got Cody, 5,000 likes on this video. All right, that's a bet. I never ask for likes. We, I, we never ask for that. Uh -huh. Not since we've been filming together. We've never asked them like, hey, Go and, go and like this video or anything like that, so. 5,000 likes, we'll have a scale on us every single time, I promise you. All right, so we just got out to this new pond. We're gonna give it a go. There's some massive fish in here, freaking huge ones. I've caught so many eight to nine pounders, I could not even tell you. So we're gonna go down this bank, fish a little bit. There are golfers out today, and usually today they're not golfing, but since yesterday was the 4th of July, there's golfers out. So if people do pull up, we're gonna get out of their way and go to a different pond, but we have about five minutes to try to fish right here. I got one. He ate it on the fall.
Dude, we are just finding the tiny guys today. I don't know what it is. Those tiny guys are just munching this thing. Then every time we hook a big one, he just happens to come off. <laughs> we are trying our best. Catching fish. Those are pretty colors on that bass. Really pretty colors. This pond used to not have a lot of grass in it. They, has, they have a ton of grass, and that's why that bass is that dark. I've been living in that grass. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. It's getting me all wet. All right, we got a little merch shout out. Somebody just got him some merch. Shout out to Robbie. Thank you so much for purchasing the premium Fishing American Flag t-shirt. If you guys want to check out any of the merch, kickingtheirbass.com. I'll drop a link down below. Thank you guys so much for everybody that supports Kicking Their Bass TV and supports the brand. I really appreciate it, and that helps out a lot with my traveling expenses. So anybody who buys clothing online, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. We are going to our next pond. But first we gotta stop at Parker's and get us something to drink because me and Cody are freaking dehydrated as they come. And we need us a water in our life. So we're gonna stop at the gas station and then I will catch you guys at the last pond. There he is. Not big. I don't know what's up with today, guys, but we have been pond hopping. We've been to so many ponds, probably like our sixth pond of the day. And these are just the guys that we're catching. You know, we had that really big one that came off, which I'm so upset about, but you know, at least we're catching fish today. Trying out some new places that we haven't fished in a while and it's just fun. It feels good being outside and enjoying nature, enjoying life and catching bass. Last cast of the day. Please bite it, baby. I feel it. Well, guys, we had a struggle today, but it was a lot of fun. You know, we got to spank some armadillos. We got to run into a few angry homeowners. We got to lose a five pounder, <laughs> but uh, it was a good day. You know, we had a lot of fun. We hit a lot of ponds. We did some pond hopping today. It's been a while since we filmed one of these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please hit the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna have some big fish content coming this week. We're about to go hit some awesome places, catch some really big bass for you guys. And I can't wait to bring you guys along with me, but thank you so much for the support. I love you guys so much. Peace.